Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about using Final Cut Pro with the Synology NAS. So I have Final Cut Pro opened up here. I'll go into my finder and I have this share. Let me just minimize this. I have this share set up and this is an SMB share on my NAS. So I'll double click this and I'll go to video projects and then I'll open up a project. And here we have a Final Cut Pro library. So I'll double click on this and it says unsupported volume type. Please choose a local SAN or supported SMB location. So there are some configuration changes you can make with SMB to make it work with Final Cut. But I found the easy way to do it with Synology NAS is to set up NFS. So if we go into our disk station manager here, and we go to the control panel, we can go to file services, and I have SMB uh, chosen, and then I've also gone down here and enabled NFS. I've also checked enable NFS version 4.1 support, and if I go to advanced settings, you'll see it says apply default Unix permissions, custom ports is unselected, and then I have the read packet and write packet size both at, both at 32 kilobytes per second. And uh, I haven't done anything with Kerberos uh, settings. So you want to hit apply there and uh, hit apply down here too to save this. And then go to your shared folder and go to the shared folder you want to use NFS with. I'm going to go to DS share here and I'll hit edit. And then you want to click over here on the right, it says NFS permissions. And then you want to hit create. I'll hit edit since I have it set up already. And here you have host name or IP. So I have my whole network set up here. So this would be like your IP address, but you put a zero at the end. And if you look down here, it says you can put a single host in here, wildcards or network segment. So I'm doing my whole network. You could alternatively just put the IP address of your Final Cut workstation or things like that. Uh, privileges read write. And then for this squash, I have map all users to admin. For security, I have sys. And then for these three checkboxes, I have uh, them all checked. So you hit OK there. I'll minimize out of here. And then if we go to your finder, so I don't screw things up, I'll close this and close DS share. I'll hit eject. So that was the SMB share. I'll go up here to go and say connect to server. And then you want to choose, you want to type NFS colon slash slash, and then the IP address of your Synology NAS and then forward slash, and then we have volume one. So if you have more than one volume, you would have to adjust for that. Most of them are probably just gonna have volume one. And then forward slash, and then the share name, which is DS underscore share in my instance. I'll hit connect here, and it will open up. I'll go to video projects, double click on that. I'll go to the project again. And now when I double click to open this, it will open in Final Cut Pro. Since it's on the network, it'll take a little bit longer. Now I will also say, this isn't how I do it. I actually use the libraries on the computer and then I copy them to the server. But this is, uh, sometimes I do have to open them up on the server to you know, make a quick export or something. So now that you have it open, you can do some optimizations here. If we click on the library itself and then go over here to library properties, you can display that by clicking the uh, inspector icon up here. And then we can go here to storage locations. I'll hit modify settings. And then uh, it talks about the media. I store my media in the library. If you store it in another place, you, know, you can adjust for that. And then uh, motion content, which I don't use motion. And then we have cache here, it says in library. Well, in library here, since my library is on the NAS, is on the NAS. And I don't want that. I want to do it on my local machine. So I'll go to choose here. And I'll go in my movie directory. I'll hit new folder and I'll say FCP underscore cache and I'll hit create and I'll say choose. So now that we'll store the cache locally on my machine, that should optimize things and make it a little bit faster. And then for backups, we have final cut backups. That's in my movies folder also. So I'll hit okay here and it says, do you want to move your render file files? And I say include. Okay. So now my render files are included. So if we go to the finder, and go to my movies folder. You'll see this Final Cut Pro cache. We'll open that up and we have the plus tech follow-up cache. So this is 107 megabytes. 
if I had left this on the NAS, it would have to transfer that 107 megabytes back and forth across the network many, many times. So that's not the most optimum way to do it. So having the cache locally on your computer is a lot faster. You can also set it to store your proxy media and things like that if you use proxy media on your Synology NAS. So now I could make edits here. I could do an export. If I close this out and say I'm done with this, I'm not going to be doing anything with this library for quite a while. I can actually go in the FCP cache now and I can delete this uh, plus tech follow up cache. And, you know, if you don't need it anymore. So another thing you can do is if you use like Time Machine or some other backup software, I'll open up my Time Machine preferences here and I'll open up options. What you could do is you could take this FCP cache folder and drag it in there and that will keep it from backing up that if you don't want to back up your cache files, which I usually don't because a lot of changes will be made there and it's kind of pointless to back them up because they can always be recreated. So that's a quick rundown of using Final Cut Pro on a Synology NAS. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.